Welcome back to Adelante Chicago. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in the U.S., sexual transmitted infection cases continue to rise. To reverse that trend, Planned Parenthood has launched a campaign targeting the Latino community. And here to tell us a little bit more about it is Jennifer Caraballo. She is an education and outreach specialist of Planned Parenthood in Illinois. Thank you for coming in. Welcome. Thank you for having me. All right, so you started to notice a trend and Planned Parenthood then decided to kick off this campaign. Explain, explain what the campaign is and what you were noticing. Yeah, so we want to push forward knowing that STIs are completely normal. It's completely part of someone that's sexually active. It's just something that people need to be aware of. And specifically in the Latino community, it's very taboo and it's we like to shy away a lot from talking about STIs or even talking about sex in general which can be hurtful and harmful because it's super important for someone to regularly get themselves checked and take care of themselves if they are sexually active. And you mentioned STI, we're mm -hmm. used to hearing the word STD, so explain the difference between the two. Yeah, so STI or sexually transmitted infection and STD, sexually transmitted diseases, are the exact same thing. It's the same name or different names for the same um, set of infections. We try to use sexually transmitted infections instead of diseases so that it sounds a lot less scary. Diseases sound very daunting and very, very just frightening in a way. So we want to make sure that we're pushing forward that all diseases have a treatment, some are curable, and that's super important to target. Okay, and so some of the issues that you're noticing within the Latino community, is it just them not knowing what resources or what type of medical help to get, or is it just they're not aware of what some of these things are? So it's a ton of different things. So mm -hmm. it's the fact that people are scared to talk about it, not knowing resources at Planned Parenthood are 17 medical centers on top of telehealth all conduct different STI testing. So pushing that out there is super important and making sure we have that conversation going with the people around us, such as being a parent to a child, talking to our child openly, making sure we're able to talk to doctors or to even partners is super important. So it's just the resources on the types of questions to ask. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay, uh, you said you started to notice a trend, right? Mm -hmm. And oftentimes when we talk about trends, there's data and numbers. Um, is there anything that you can point to that shows sort of an increase in the number of infections or perhaps a drop in visits to healthcare providers who, you know, maybe address some of the STI issues? Yeah, so I don't quite have the answer for that, but as an education as an educator for Planned Parenthood, I see a lot of students on a daily basis and they all shy away, especially from that topic of STIs or anything that has to do with sexual health and having that one-on-one -on -one conversation with them, being able to be kind of their safe space as an educator and someone who's not there in a judge in a judgmental way is super helpful for them and helps them be more open and talking about their sex lives or even how to take care of themselves. And I know oftentimes you provide the help in Spanish as well. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, for information, if people want to reach out to Planned Parenthood, obviously they can look for the number um, online, but is there another website or anything like that that they should visit? Yeah, someone can go to www.ppil.org. Okay, sounds good. Thank you so much for Thank joining you. us today. <laughs>